server side works now. And now we're gonna do the client side. The client side is gonna be more visual. We're gonna make a GUI. Carter GUI. Screen GUI. And name it Inventory. Inside, we're gonna make a frame. Call it in the frame. Then add. Now we're gonna position it. We're gonna position it in the middle of the screen. And the size will be half. like that. Then we want to add a scrolling frame which will store all of the items. Then we need to make a reference button. Which I'm gonna paste in here. This is just a text button. This will be used as a visual representation of the inventory item. In the scrolling frame we have to change the anchor points so that scrolling frame is in the middle of the main frame. And the scale is gonna be 0.9. I'm making frame inside frame so that there is a border around the inventory system so that it, it will look way better. So now we have the reference button created which will look like a random square for now. You can change like the size to how you like. The height. And we're gonna just hide it. We're gonna use this as a reference to create new, new buttons. I'm also gonna add a background to the inventory frame. Which will make it much better. I'm gonna make this transparent. Uh, not here. I'm gonna make the frame transparent so that it doesn't have these white sides. And this is how it looks for now. And if you enable the button, you can't see it. So we have to increase the Z index so that the inventory is in front of the background. So make it two. And now it's in front. But now we can see this white stuff. We need to hide it. And now if you want, if you make more buttons, you can see that they stack on top of each other. We have to add a UI grid layout. UI grid layout, like that. And now it scales side by side. It stacks like that very nicely. So we can, and if we delete, they will automatically go side to side like that. And we can scroll. And everything works fine. So we have to delete the other ones and hide this one. Also hide this part so that it's not annoying. <laughs> so 
first of all we need to get the input from the player I'm gonna make a new script in the starter character scripts local script uh, called input this script is gonna handle all the input from the players and when I'm gonna paste some stuff here we're gonna get player user input service which will listen for the inputs and context action I'm not gonna use this user input service this is old. I'm gonna get the player GUI the inventory frame which is this orange one and this is for later so then I'm gonna bind a key keyboard key to a function so we're gonna make it B I'm gonna delete this this is for console so we're gonna make a action open inventory this string is just for visual for whenever the player op op opens the option menu they will see open inventory key bind b so it's just visual it doesn't do much this second parameter runs the function when the key is pressed and the third one is for a mobile to create a button so now i'm gonna comment this part for later on we're gonna press the B key then it will check for debounce we have to add the debounce because when you press the key it will run once when you release the key it will run again so we need to lock it in so that you can't trigger it faster than 0.5 seconds so we're gonna click the B key and then it will make the inventory visible let's test it out load in and then I press the B key and the inventory opens press again it closes so we, we check if it is visible then we turn it off if it isn't then we turn it on that's simple now we have to make a remote remote event I'm gonna stop um, replicator storage I'm gonna add remote events folder which will have open inventory remote event this one we're gonna use this to communicate between the client and the server so when the player presses the B key it will fire the open inventories event then we have to go to the server script in the inventory management and we need to add this remote event here now we're gonna listen to the events of this line we're gonna listen for the open remote open inventory event when somebody fires the event we get the player and it will run inventory open function which we'll make right now so the inventory open function we are gonna get the players inventory we're gonna get the player user id inventory 
and we're gonna make a new array data send which we will fill with the data of the inventory I'm gonna make a for loop which will loop through all of the player's items it will get all of the items in the player's inventory folder then I'm gonna fill it with a new table so item name key which will have an array of item type name and item amount which will we will use to populate the inventory on the client side then we will gonna fire the from the server to the client to send this data back to the client and the client is gonna use this data to visualize what he has in his inventory so we're gonna go and make inventory events local script which we'll use for the events I'm gonna paste open inventory event and then we're gonna listen for it here we also need to add the inventory frame location here we're gonna get the player inventory frame the orange one then when the server fires on this client we will get the data which we will which will have we're gonna use this data to visualize the inventory so we're gonna First of all, we're gonna reset the inventory. We're gonna destroy everything except for the grid layout for this one and the reference button. We're gonna just reset the inventory. Then we're gonna start counting the slot amounts and we're gonna loop through the item data. We're gonna clone the reference button set its parent, name it as in slot no amount number the Im image and set the image and make the slot visible we're gonna need items module which we can just get from here let's paste it and change the name and it should work very well, let's see. Mm, I pasted the wrong one. I need to get it in the, from the local. I'm gonna just change it. I'm gonna make a, a new uh, I'm gonna copy the item module to the replicated storage right here. Now I'm first gonna I'm gonna create a package so that we if we modify one part one copy of this script it will we will be able to automatically update the replicated storage so we're gonna add this one and it should work now and we have to change the replicated storage storage remove this and if we change anything in this one we have to publish changes and then get latest package and they will sync and be the same so let's test it out how it works 
We have an empty inventory. We pick up stone and stone appears. We pick up wood. Wood appears. We close it. We can open it again. It works. Now we can test the weight and slots limitations. We're gonna make many items. I'm just gonna pick up everything until we have no space. That was not enough items. I'm gonna increase. I'm gonna modify the weight and slot values. I'm gonna publish and get latest. So let's see. Now you can't pick up any anymore. I'm gonna add like UI stuff which will show why you can't pick up but I think that's enough for the for this basic inventory. We have the items they are put in the data store. We can see amount, the type and everything was fine. Thank you for watching this video. I will make more tutorials in the future which will expand this inventory and make it much more complex. Goodbye. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more Roblox tutorial videos. See you.